Howdy, it's Tubal Cane once again. The other day I bought this vise at an auction uh, for a dollar. It's a little drill press vise, and I rather like it. It's a, a Miller's Falls number 217, and uh, I think it's quite old. It's cast iron. I like this little uh, swivel jaw here that allows you to hold something that is tapered, such as this. Not that you would hold a, a center punch. But uh, something uh, tapered can be held with that uh, swivel jaw, so that's kind of neat. Uh, the problem is there's no handle on it, and that is probably why I only paid a dollar for it. And quite often I've had to make a handle over the years for a C-clamp or a vise, and they can be made in any size, and here's a good way to do it. This hole is one size larger than a quarter inch, so this is a quarter inch bolt, and it's four inches long, probably more like three inches up to uh, the threaded portion. And uh, you probably won't even have to buy a, a bolt if you just look in your bolt selection. I've got all different lengths there. But make sure you choose a uh, soft bolt, not a grade 5 or grade 8 hardened bolt, because we're going to turn this head down. So you do not want a hardened bolt. But you can see that's going to fit in there quite nicely, and it's going to be cut off right at the end of the nut. So let's step over to the Logan lathe and turn down the ends. All right, I'm at the Logan lathe, and I've already got the work in the three-jaw chuck, and I've allowed about that much to stick out because I want to uh, make a cut clear across it without hitting the uh, chuck jaws. I just have a round nose turning tool and I'm going to turn it down just until it trues up and we get rid of all the flats. The diameter doesn't matter very much as long as both ends are about the same. It's an interrupted cut to start with. I'm just feeding by hand, no power feeds. Let's see what it looks like. And it's fully round with no flats. Now I will round it off using a regular mill file and uh, break the corners. And sometimes I like to move it a little farther out uh, from the jaws when I do that so I don't uh, hit the jaws with the file. Be careful when using a file. You may even want to file left-handed if you're able to do it. Make sure there's a handle on your file. you can turn the end of it down or face the end if you want if there's a trademark or something stamped down there and it bothers you. And you can make this into a complete ball if you want to take the time to do that uh, just for appearance sake. I'm at the metal cutting band saw and I've already put a nut on there. Snugged it up real good but I do want to get it off again so it's not too tight. Just got it in a vise here and I'm going to saw it off flush right there. You can do it with a hand hacksaw as well. Make sure you've got your glasses on when you do these operations. Now I'm ready to take it back to the Logan lathe and uh, face that end off and turn it round and file it. Here we go on the other end. Facing it off first. Now 
now turning it down to round. Now a little filing. And so on. Now we have to take the nut off in order to assemble it so I'm in the, the soft jaws of a vise here and using a little uh, emery cloth and channel lock pliers I like to wrap it just to protect it. And that'll come right off and is ready to assemble. Now let's assemble it. I like to use a uh, Loctite, and this is the red stuff, the uh, the permanent type. Uh, the blue isn't nearly as strong, so you can still use it, but I prefer the red. And this will only come off with heat. I love these Loctite products, and I do not work for them, but I I know I promote them. Perhaps they'll send me some samples. Snug that up. Wipe it off. And this is done. Try to make the length proportional to what uh, the device is, or the de device, or the device. And that looks pretty good. And it slides freely. Ready for another 100,000 miles. So you need to get a handle on it too. So check through all of your uh, your tools and see uh, any that are bent or missing and, and make them in a similar manner. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now.